in my view, I think the most important thing about Vatican II that should be discussed is the fact that the modern world rejected Vatican II. That's, in my opinion, the most important thing that no one's talking about is because Vatican II, if we just assume that Vatican II is like a perfect council, we just set aside any issue with Vatican II and debate about it. Vatican II was an invitation to the modern world to dialogue with the Catholic Church. That's what, I mean, you could summarize the whole council like that. Mm. And I think we can all agree that the modern world <laughs> utterly rejected that invitation. We have right after the council closed, we have the second sexual revolution. The first one was back in the 1920s, as my book describes. But this was the second sexual revolution, worse than the first. We have feminism, and then we have the unborn Holocaust. And we have now we have the gender. We have just an insane world we live in now. And that's the modern world response of Vatican II. And so it's just utterly rejected by the world. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's the first factor because, so I, in my view, I think that would cause us to rethink some of the pastoral strategies of Vatican II and not in any disrespect to the council. Like, I, I think I would even argue that Vatican II could have worked. Like what if the modern world would have said, hey, oh, interesting. I, we would like to dialogue with you let's talk and then we'd have like you know the american empire at the time as i discuss in my article uh the post-war council turned 60. i argue in that article that there was great reason for optimism there's a reason everybody was optimistic in the 60s because in the 1950s the american empire had declared a crusade against communism and hollywood pr was producing fulton sheen and fatima movies like it was right. real good in the 50s and people were excited yeah. And it makes sense. So it could, I mean, it could have worked, but it didn't in that sense, in the sense that the modern world rejected. I think that's a really crucial thing because that's kind of where the rubber meets the road. What is our pastoral strategy? So I think that this is the thing where people of like our generation follow. I think we sometimes get, um, we get, we get tired of clerics continually trying to dialogue with, a gender ideology, which right. is just demonic. I mean, like in my state capital in Michigan, they just had a, a Satan statue for Christmas oh. and they had the Democratic oh, uh, hmm. or the Democrat House person tweeted a photo of her kissing the Satan statue. Like we're in a full spiritual war at this point. So, did There's the, no this dialogue like, here. The, like the horned goat thing. Yeah. What, what did this thing look like? So there, uh, there's no way they just misspelled Santa. No, no, it was straight up. Okay, it was no, Satan. Kidding. It was like Baphomet, whatever. <laughs> oh, gross, disgusting thing they figured out. What are you Michiganders up to? That's well, weird. we have. I mean, we have a communist takeover in Michigan, yeah, okay. unfortunately. That, anyways, we're, we're, we've, we've been insulated topic. from from that for now. But yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> I know you, you, you live in the great state of Missouri, which I respect. Anyways, I but I think that's the that's the most important part. Number one.